Hello everyone, it's Sadie Rose and today's video is questions no, it's not. Answering questions I've avoided. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of my gum because as much as I want to chew it, it's gonna be annoying. So I'll do it for the benefit of you guys. I just felt like doing a Q&A and I feel like I've got a lot to talk about. Sorry for my appearance. I have been in bed all day and I've been extremely sad. So um, let's just get on to the questions. You can follow my Instagram. It's on the screen now and linked in the description. That's how I do these videos like I asked you guys on my Instagram. A lot of my questions that I get the same. So I decided to answer them because you guys are so needy. Like take a chill pill. The first question is why are you single? I don't know why I'm single. Ask the boys. Ask the boys and let me know what they say. Are you a virgin? Right, everyone always asks me this. This is my most asked question and I usually just like play it off and I'm like, <laughs> find out next time. But I thought I'd actually just tell you, so no, I'm not a virgin. Sorry, family members, if you're watching this, but yeah, I'm not a virgin. The silence is way too loud. Okay, no one even cares, so I'm gonna move on. Um, do you have a boyfriend? No, I feel like that's such an easy question. Like, of course I don't have a boyfriend. Do I look like I have a boyfriend? No, I didn't think so. Biggest regret? Um, probably letting a boy ruin my life. It's not even ruin my life, just putting them first rather than myself. I, so a lot of the time I put other people in front of my own self happiness. I don't know how to explain it. I'm an idiot. I've done so many stupid things. I don't necessarily regret it because everything happens for a reason, but I definitely am an idiot and I have wasted a lot of my life on someone that doesn't give a fuck about me and uh yeah, um I've recently cut him off, so hopefully um that won't have to be a regret any longer, but for the time being I am regretful. But there's no point in having regrets because as I said, everything happens for a reason and if something's happened, it's happened. You can't sit there and regret it because like life's too short, do you know what I mean? How many boys are you talking to? Literally none. I don't speak to anyone like that. Like I have Snapchat boys but they're all just my friends and I'm kind of depressed about it. Like I literally don't speak to anyone like that and it's kind of depressing but I mean what can you do? Like really like what can you actually do? If you are a boy and want to hit me up then just DM me on Instagram. Instagram. Why haven't you told us about your boy life? I actually have like I speak about it quite a lot and you obviously know that there's like one person that I'm like hung up on and like I've mentioned that in a lot of videos. I've even cried about it in videos so if you want to go and hunt them out then um, you can or maybe I'll put in a cheeky clip. I don't know. I regret allowing myself to get to this point because I shouldn't feel like there was someone that like, did, never even likes me. But yeah, um, my boy life has kind of been a lot all over the place. Like, I've been with a few boys, but never gone out with them. And obviously there was one boy that, like, I was friends with benefits with. And I ended up falling in love with him, and he didn't love me back. Here I am, still living. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So that's all I have to say on the matter. What's your biggest turn on? Um, kissing. I feel like kissing is very se sexual, sensual. Like, it's like... I don't know, like, I set this TikTok of Finn Matthews and Ava, I think she's called. Um, by the way, Finn Matthews is beautiful. He followed me on Instagram. Sorry, my hair's so greasy. I'm a mess at the moment. Um, we'll, we'll get over it. Anyways, I'll just say it on the screen. It's just so fit, and I won't include the audio because I'll probably get copyrighted, but, like, it's... Oh, that is a turn on for me. Like what you can see on the screen is a turn on, like looking in someone's eyes and then kissing them and then like falling in love. Like, oh, not that I've ever experienced that ever in my whole life, but it would be nice. About your eyelashes. Oh my God, everyone always, always, always asks me about my eyelashes. They are natural, never had anything done to them. I use the Better Than Sex mascara mixed with the Fair Real mascara. Everyone's always like, oh my God, tell us your eyelash routine. Literally, I curl them. I dip the Better Than Sex mascara into the Fair Real mascara because it's like liquidy. And then I do that. And then I go back in with the Better Than Sex with the thicker, like actual Better Than Sex liquid. And then I'll put that on. And that's basically it. And if you want to get really curled lashes, then do that, wait for it to dry and then curl them again and then do another coat but normally I don't have time for that but um that's my eyelash routine so hope you enjoyed sorry I keep looking in the viewfinder I'm just looking at myself because I'm self-obsessed um, again follow my Instagram if you want to see even more self-obsessed images of me I don't know you're really honest and that's why you're my favorite YouTuber I love you so much oh my god love you too I just feel like I hate YouTubers when they're all like oh that's a secret da, da, da. like just be honest like if you're gonna be a youtuber be honest don't be fake like i hate when people are fake like i get joking about and putting on like a persona but like don't be fake like ugh, i i hate youtubers that aren't relatable 
I don't even watch YouTube that much, but if I do, I'll watch. Who do I watch? Um, I used to watch Beauty Spectrum, but I kind of lost interest in her, but I do love her. I watch Olivia Neal. Flossie sometimes. don't really like her that much, but I do watch Flossie. And Lewis sometimes. That's it, really. Oh, I watch... I guess I watch Kate Elizabeth and Carmi, but I don't really like them anymore because they've gone all posh and stuck up. So, yeah, that's it, really. Worst thing you've done drunk? Um... <laughs> Someone's best friend to get back at them because I was angry at them. I've done that twice. And um, you know, the boy that broke my heart, yeah, him. <laughs> oh my god, that really sounds so bad. Do you struggle with mental health? Um, I'd like to say I don't, but I think I do. And only recently I've realised this, like, past few weeks. I think lockdown has very much influenced this, uh, which I hate because the government don't give a fuck about people's mental health. Neither do teachers. Teachers actually get on my nerves so much. They don't give a fuck about their students' mental health. And they think that, like, we're just making it up. Um, but yeah, I hate teachers at the moment because they don't give a fuck about their students And yeah, anyways, my mental health is really bad at the moment, actually Um, it's quite a touchy subject, I'm quite upset about it I don't really know why I think part of it's to do with the fact that I cut off that boy Just because, you know, you've got to realise that some things aren't worth holding on to And even if they make you so, so happy If they make also make you so so sad no matter how happy they make you you need to cut them out of your life and as much as it is fun to have a toxic relationship with someone and exciting and it brings a bit of pizzazz and spice to your life you need to get rid of them because honestly it'll be the best thing you ever do it is hard and i'm struggling but i think it's the best decision and honestly if you're in need look through tiktok and like make your for you page like sad videos and you will thank me later it's been really hard and i think it is going to be really hard for the next few months but i think i'll get through it hopefully and i just hate that every day is the same and i feel like there's no aim anymore in life like we can't even go out and unis is just fucked and then just some personal it's just oh i just hate life at the moment i haven't really spoke to anyone about it but that's how i'm feeling and yeah i'll get through it oh, what age did you start drinking um i think i got drunk for the first time in year nine and i remember <laughs> i was absolutely like crazy i drank like some vodka and i remember thinking like i do you know when you get that spinny like lightheaded feeling when you're drunk i literally was like oh my god i want to feel like this all the time like i remember loving it and ever since i've just taken it too far and yeah i, I do love a good bit of vodka i really do i feel like your relationship with food and your mental health is really bad but you never talk about it um food yeah that is a big one for me i struggle with my food and i'm not saying I haven't eaten a soda because I'm not sure if I do but I think I don't know what it is like I'll eat my lunch and I, I'll eat my tea and I'll eat loads of snacks and, and then I'll go through periods of like the other night I literally ate so much food like I'll binge eat and then I'll feel awful about it and then I, I don't like speaking about it on the internet because I feel like I don't want to promote it and I don't really want to tell people about it because it's a very personal thing and I don't want it to sound like I haven't eaten a soda but yeah I do struggle with my food and I, I don't know how to describe it because I'll eat all my meals and like it's more just like a, con a, a conscious thing like I'll feel guilty about eating food or I'll count my calories or etc I don't know I don't really like to talk about it because it makes me feel sad but yeah and I feel like I should be more open about it but I'm just I can't talk about my feelings ever to anyone so how much money do you make? I make around £300 a month from AdSense alone and then brand deals is obviously different but that's how much I make, really not that much, like a lot for what I do, like I don't even put much effort into this channel but that's how much I make and people, it really annoys me because people seem to think I'm like rich because of YouTube and I know a lot of YouTubers are rich but I'm really not and I hate that people just assume that I am, like YouTube's not as good paying as some people might think like it's all about the brand deals and i don't get many brand deals so you've got to like weigh it up do you know what i mean how old are you i'm 16 i'm 17 in january right this is the main one that i get a lot and it's a very personal thing and it's how did you lose weight and i don't want to promote bad eating slash unhealthy eating habits but the way i lost weight was basically eating less like snacking less i've kind of got back into it at the moment snacking i don't really know what's going on but i started running as well during lockdown because i started going insane because we couldn't go outside so i started running i think that definitely helped with it that helped me get a lot more toned i've stopped running now because i don't have the right mindset for running at the moment but hopefully i can get back to it but yeah basically that and eating less and eating a lot healthier like for lunch i will have a sandwich and then fruit and veg like that's all i'll have but never change your eating habits for anyone don't change for anyone basically and if you want to eat healthier fair enough if you want to lose weight fair enough but just don't change for anyone and don't compare yourself to anyone else because you're all beautiful and you don't need to lose weight for anyone and drink a lot of water um because then you like pee out everything like you literally just 
yeah how do you feel about drugs um you know i i understand why people would do drugs like at a party or something like i'm not against that like obviously it's illegal like i'm not saying do it but people do it and i don't really see the problem it's just i think there's a problem when you start doing them by yourself like say in your bedroom or on school nights or you know during the day i just feel like that's when it becomes an issue and when you should get help or when you should consider stopping but i don't think any less of people that do drugs it just depends how much they do because it can ruin your life it can ruin your image it can ruin your health so just please be aware if you are a drug taker um but please don't do drugs because just stick to the alcohol if you want to get waved because it's not worth it at all pro-life or pro-choice oh my god definitely pro-choice if i got pregnant now i would have bought it and i say that confidently that people would accept my opinion because if they didn't respect my opinion then you're trash because if you aren't pro-choice and i just disagree with you so much and i think being a woman is so hard anyways and that the, the fact that there's some women out there who don't support women's own choices about how, whether they have a child or not is disgusting why don't you talk about political and social issues when you have a big following i try i've tried to a bit more recently by sharing stuff i just feel like i don't want to get involved like I'm not a person that watches the news or reads the news and that's probably bad but I just obviously I don't really want to talk about my political opinions I'm well I will I'm Labour Tories can fuck off I fucking hate Boris Johnson and anyone that's part of the Tory party if you're a Tory then fuck right off but um I don't think there's any justifying being to a Tory in this day and age like how can you even have those views I don't know and if you support Donald Trump again you are sick and disgusting and please get a new view on politics because oh my god you are messed up if you think donald trump is in any shape or form good um but obviously biden has got in which i'm so glad about so yeah anyways yeah um i just don't feel the need to put stuff on about political shit because i'm a 16 year old teenager that lives in cumbria like i don't revolve my ra life around politics like i don't know fair enough if you are but i don't like you guys need to understand that the amount of hate people get online and even if you post a view that you think is right the amount of backlash that people get is horrible and maybe that's why they wouldn't want to share their political views or i don't know i just i don't, my platform isn't a serious platform and i want it to keep that way and sometimes obviously i will talk about social issues because i have a big following and i should help the world with that but at the same time all we ever hear about is the news and politics and wars and i want my platform to be a happy place and i don't want it to become a mundane place where people would and follow it because they're like oh my god this girl all she talks about is politics you know what i mean i don't know i'll probably get hate for that but that's just my opinion are you still ap I <laughs> okay that answers the question are you still academic no i've given up on school in like year nine year ten i used to put so much effort into school and i'd really try hard and then year 11 i kind of started slacking because i became more social and i don't regret that one one bit if you have the chance to become social please do <laughs> but yeah no i don't do any schoolwork for my a levels ever i do my homework and that's about it um i haven't done any schoolwork for ages and that's partly to do with because i haven't been in a good place recently and i think because of covid and because of lockdown it's put me into this mindset where life has no point in living so i'm not doing my schoolwork at the moment because there's no point i've decided <laughs> Have you smoked? Uh, I've tried cigarettes before, not a full one. I've only literally ever had a few tokes and it was all when I'm drunk. And yeah, I hate smoking so much. If you smoke, I think it's disgusting. Are your parents together? No. Are you straight? Yes. Someone yesterday, one of my friends asked me if I'd ever get with a girl and I don't think I would. Like as much as I'd love to be bisexual or, you know, attracted to girls. Like I'm attracted to girls, but not in a sexual way. And like, I wish I was bisexual, but I'm just not. And yeah, I just, I don't think I'd ever want to get with a girl willingly like the idea doesn't disgust me and i think girls are so fit like i think girls are fitter than boys like i generally say that with my chest like i think girls are so much fitter than boys and so much more attractive but i'm not attracted to them if that makes sense like i can appreciate a girl's beauty in more than i can appreciate boys because i think girls are just pretty in so many different ways compared to boys but yeah i wouldn't have sex with a girl and i don't think i'd get with a girl at this moment in time maybe it'll change but yeah i'm boring Everyone's saying that like my TikTok is like really like not PG compared to my YouTube and that's because I feel like TikTok's such a more expressive place than YouTube and like 
if you say stuff on YouTube, like, I don't know, I feel like it's more of a big deal than if you say stuff on TikTok. Follow my TikTok if you don't already, by the way. Go more in depth about the boy you've been talking to. Um, I don't know. I have to speak to a few that I, like, fancy, but I find it hard to get attached because, I don't know, I've had, like, a bad experience. I don't know. I feel like I can't really get attached to boys as much anymore because I've gone through it and I hate it and I'm still going through that and I don't want to do that again. And there's no one that I... <sighs> I'm interested enough to get attached to them. Um, there's a few boys that I fancy, a few boys that I'd shag or get with, whatever, or want to speak to, but they just don't speak to me. So, mm, I don't know. I hate boys. I'm going to end the video there. Sorry, I didn't. I feel like I didn't answer that many questions, but I feel like I went into a lot of depth. Sorry if I sounded so depressed. I'm just not really the best at the moment. Um, I know I keep saying that and I don't want you to pity me because everyone goes through shit. And, like, obviously, I just have the advantage of being able to speak well online. But if you're upset, please tell someone. Um, and guys help because it is horrible and i've never experienced this before if you want to see more videos make sure to subscribe and leave a friendly comment down below telling me more videos that you want to see follow my instagram and tiktok they're on the screen now and i'll see you in my next video bye